I know it's one of our staple diets of conversation, but why does the weather, from heat wave to arctic blizzard, always catch us unprepared? Football is our most popular spectator sport. Why don't more clubs invest in undersoil heating or synthetic surfaces that don't freeze like concrete? Through Northern Europe and North America, winter comes with the same inevitable regularity and often far more dramatically than over here. While other countries seem to react with business-like determination, we slip and slide into a snowdrift of indecision. It's been suggested that life in our overcrowded island is so lacking in variety and excitement that we actually welcome the challenge of bad weather. As a result, we tend to over-dramatize the whole thing at the expense of solving it. Well, they seem to have found at least an urban solution in Canada. With parking space for 4,000 cars, this is Montreal's indoor city. A complex of buildings covering 30 acres, it offers a complete answer to the cold, wet discomforts of winter, as well as the heat of high summer. The city includes the largest underground area in the world, embracing three of Montreal's newest and largest hotels. With pedestrian promenades that stretch for three miles, it offers all the facilities normally found in a modern urban society without going outside. Rather like a gigantic beehive, the city contains ten office blocks, three shopping centers, and a gigantic exhibition hall covering six acres. Eventually, indoor city will extend to a hundred acres. In Canada, seasonal changes vary from sunstroke summers to frostbite winters. Indoor City is the first complex of its kind in the country, a pointer to the future for any nation that suffers extremes of temperature.